Welcome back everyone to part 6 of my game mechanic showcase. Um, I'll be going over my uh, enemy AI slash mobility mechanic. Um, overall it's not really complex, it's just some simple uh, moving left and right, uh, jumping, uh, damage indicators I, as you can see right there. My player turns red and gets flinged in the direction he, uh, he gets hit. Um, so essentially, uh, it's just a little basic, uh, uh, enemy AI here I made. Um, depending on how close you get to it, it jumps just to, like, uh, throw the player off guard, I guess. There's also a chance of, uh, it jumping randomly. Um, and that's also, uh, that's just how I coded it. Um... It also has a little health thing here, um, but I'll uh, I'll begin to talk about that in the next video. Uh, to talk a little bit about how this works, I guess um, we'll just we'll just uh, go in the script I made here for the enemy. Um, so the way the enemy moves left and right is uh it should be in my update here <clears throat> so it checks if the enemy is facing right or if the enemy is not facing right then move left if the enemy is facing right then move right um so that's basically how the uh walking uh, functions, I guess. Um, as for the health, uh, there's also ways of damaging it, but that, I'll, like I said, I'll take up in the next video. Uh, and then for jumping, um, there's like a, there's a decision maker when it comes to jumping. Um, so... Right here, I have a void jump start, and I guess whenever the player is, uh, I mean, whenever the enemy is moving left or right, it uh, it calls upon jump start. And in jump start, if the if the enemy is not jumping, then uh, it begins to start a co uh, co routine, and which is called jump. And inside jump is um, can it can either go two ways. If the player is within the range of the enemy, then the enemy will jump. Else, if as you see here, I have a variable called determine determine jump, and what this does is just determines whether or not the enemy should jump at random and as you see here uh, it calls upon random dot range and it picks a number between 0 and 10 um, if the number if the determined number is greater than 5 or the player is in with it is within the range then the enemy jumps otherwise um, it stays on the ground and move continues to move left and right um, if the enemy collides with the player, then the player, I believe this is in my movement script, or, uh, the movement in the script is attached to the player, so if the player, uh, was, were to collide with the enemy, then the player would be flinged in the, a certain direction, depending on whether he's looking left or right. And it would begin to start a coroutine called fling, which just applies a force in a certain direction, uh, as you see here. And it also changes the color to red, and then after a few seconds goes back to its original color. Uh, just as a little hit indicator. Uh, that should be it for part 6. Um, part 7, I'll be going over my projectile, mecha uh, projectile mechanic, 
which will come into play with all uh, th this enemy thing and its little health indicator and all that jazz. Uh, until next time, I'll see you guys uh, on part 7.